my January box finally arrived. So let's open it up. I originally did have another video planned for today, but I have been waiting forever for this box to arrive. So let's get started. Alright, inside we have the featured artist and their socials. Oh, upside down. There we go. Socials, featured artist, and our info card with everything inside. Alright, first up, got a new sketch pad. There's quite a lot of paper in here actually. It's thicker than they normally make them. Um, I guess it's just really thick paper. Yeah. And we've got a whole bunch of watercolor powders in different colors. And this one as well. And let's see, this is watercolor in titanium white. So good for making like the base so that colors blend better. And then we have a custom watercolor powder. I believe they gave this to us before. So it's not the same, but uh, it is similar. This one is from the January 2022 box, and this one's from the November 2021 box. But uh, they're different colors, but same medium. All right, there's also the watercolor brush from actually Sketchbox uh, to go with our powders and a Copic liner. It's purple. It's 0.5 mm. And the little sticker for the month. All right, that's everything that came in the box this month, so let's move on to swatches. It took me a couple tries to get the right proportions on how much to squeeze the bottle in order to get all the powders to come out. So watercolor powder is definitely a learning process. It's not as easy as you'd think it'd be. And watercolor powder is really a proportions game because once you get all the powder out, now you gotta figure out how much water and how much powder you're supposed to put in that water. I messed up big time here. I made a huge puddle, but that's okay. It's a learning process. Yeah, like I said, big time mess up. But that's okay, we're learning, and that's all that really matters, right? Yeah, that wasn't gonna work. So, took paper towels, clean palette, and we're gonna try this again. Less water, less waste, less disaster. Yeah, okay, making another puddle was probably not my best choice, but the purple watercolor didn't like me anyways. I had the hardest time making the purple watercolor actually come out purple. It was coming out brown, like just straight brown. So I gave up on the watercolor and I just cleared the palette again and started over one more time.
Now, the titanium white is actually supposed to go underneath your painting as a base to help the colors blend better on top of it, but I wanted to see what would happen if you put the watercolor powder directly on top of it, and it actually turned the watercolor into an acrylic paint. And you honestly could probably use that technique to make a pastel kind of situation, since you're just adding white to whatever color you're mixing. Alright, and there are all the swatches for all of the watercolor powder, um, and the bottom line is mixed with the white base that they provided, which is right there, and then that's our purple Copic liner, and that's everything we got this one. I'm most likely weighing over my head on this because I'm not that great with watercolor, but I thought this dude was really cute. so. Let's try and draw them with watercolor. Alright, so we're just going to transition into about a one minute speed paint. So just enjoy the process and I'll be back when it's done. I ended up taking some titanium white and putting highlights on the nose and eyes. But you know, I honestly think for not being comfortable with watercolor, I actually did a pretty good job at this. There was definitely a lot of mixing that had to happen in order to get this right, but you know, it's pretty nice. It's definitely a lot of portion control in order to get these colors because you have to have the right combination of powder and water. So, you know, it doesn't work quite as nicely as just a regular watercolor palette, but it does allow for a lot more colors that you wouldn't otherwise really have. Alright guys, that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on my watercolor adventure. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what you want to see next. Have a great day. Bye!